good are your hair? I've been waiting here for decades. It's hot like the dickens outside. You know, Hoffman just stopped by and I can't believe he wants me to watch his kid. Ashley, stop playing in the mirror. It's time to go. <laughs> back ladies and gentlemen to it's your time the weekly television show that highlights the successful and very inspirational journeys of our youth their past and sometimes we follow them all the way into adulthood tonight we have some really exciting guests for you our first guest is Donna Simmons who made her first million dollars at the age of 14 by selling some very very unique products and get this she began her marketing campaign on the internet and our second guest it's Julius Myers. This young man grew up on the rough side of town, faced with many obstacles. Some of them include bullying, depression, poverty, and having to care for his three younger siblings. Despite those circumstances, he has excelled over the past few years and is now one of the top nation's sought after inspirational speakers. And our third guest is Corey Fowler. This 21st century phenom is rocking the charts in technology. She's one of six children, and might I add, the whole family is in technology. Corey is the oldest 23 years old, but she started at the age of seven. This company began with Corey over 15 years ago, making computers. I'm so excited to meet these guests and can't wait for a commercial break. So come on, follow me. Hey everybody, I'm so excited. We're in the neighborhood of my next guest. All I can say you guys is these kids are gonna be the future millionaires, probably even billionaires. I believe billionaires. What they do is so cool. It, I don't even wanna tell you. Let's just get there. We're actually outside of the house. Let's go check them out. Bob, get the crumbs off your face and fix your tie with one inside. Okay, does my hair look good? Hello, welcome to American Technologies. Hi, how are you? I'm Ashley from It's Your Time Show. Can we come in? Sure. It's your time and I'm your host, Ashley Bell. I'm sitting here with Corey Fowler, COO of American Technologies. She's a diva in her field of technology and she's a software programmer and media specialist. She does so much, I have to let her tell you herself. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for having me here. Now, Corey, when I came to the house, I saw so much construction. You must be adding on to your vision, and it doesn't look like a home inside. On the outside, it's beautiful, but inside is computers, it's equipment, it's laptops, it's cameras. What is this? Well, in, the, in our home business, we have outgrown this top level here. Uh, we have equipment here in the family room, in the living room, in the dining room, everywhere except for the kitchen. So when we were going to have the basement outfitted for our business and we noticed that we just didn't have enough space to do everything we needed. So what we did was we extended the house first. It was going to just be the basement level, but you know, we said, why not all three levels? So from the top, the middle and the basement level, um, where we're going to be able to have our TV studio, have a green screen studio, and then all of our workstations in place. And the TV studio would be um, an added service for our clients so that they could um, be on television so that they can promote their business. And then we're going to have a green screen studio where we are going to have our clients come out so they can walk out and be on their websites or do an infomercial presentation, uh, whatever it is that the client vision is, we can fulfill it through this technology. Now tell me about these computers. You have at least 40 computers here. How can you afford this? Well, in 1995, we started the company manufacturing computer systems. So when we diversified into media, um, you know, the computer systems they use for uh, production and stuff, it's just, you know, for us, we like to know what's in the computer system. And so we manufacture all of our computers here in the studio. So like I said, you're a diva in your field of technology, and you started in this business at the age of seven. What lifestyle changes have you undergone? Well, um, first it used to be 
well, all my life it's been technology. Before the computers, my father uh, worked as a technician in the copier industry, so he's always had us around technology. So the only changes that happened was that our parents got us more engaged in business. You know, even at the age of seven, you know, they taught us how to build computers. We would have sleepovers and our friends, well, you know, we'll have a whole line of computers and me, my friends, we would just assemble all the computers as my father and my mother as the instructor. So tell me about your family life, your mother, your father. What significant roles do they play in this business? And most importantly, the roles that they play in your life. Well, my parents, of course, they're in charge. Uh, they give us direction. They make sure that um, we stay grounded in um, the technology and business. They also give us um, important life lessons, like um, being loyal to one another, um, also teaching us about finances, uh, business ethics. And the biggest thing that we're uh, experiencing today is um, relationships with our clients. That's the most important thing. Very important. Yes. So speaking of key relationships with your clients, out of all of the clients you have worked with, what are your most memorable experiences? My most memorable experiences is um, actually going out to videotape um, like large panels where we videotape um, like key CEOs and companies like uh, Lou Dobbs and um, the gentleman who founded Home Depot, it's like they have such a wealth of information of how they started from nothing and they grew into such successful entrepreneurs and all the lessons that they share during these events, you know, it, it keeps us inspired to want to become like them or even excel past uh, where they are now. Well, Corey, I know you have your hand in a lot of projects, but where do you see yourself in the next five years or so? In the next five years or so, I envision myself um, try to, you know, get my father to retire and I become right. CEO. Um, I would definitely like to put um, more innovative ideas into the company because we're always growing. But I would like to be able to contribute more, like expand our product base, like starting to sell. Uh, memorabilia is for our companies like you know our clients can have you know American Technologies t-shirts so that we're always even though it's subtle we're promoting ourselves anywhere we go also going out to start training courses for uh, youngsters and adults oh, Wow! yeah so that we could you know share our knowledge because that's what our foundation is sharing what we know to help those less fortunate than us because we started from the same foundation so as far as your siblings, are they as helpful? Did they start at a young age like yourself? Or are they, you know, pretty much fulfilling the child's role of being a child or playing? Or are they really instrument key figures in making this business a success? Well, they are in apprenticeship mode. You know, they're right. getting they're given small tasks where uh, just as you know, see where they are. And then as they grow, then we give them bigger tasks to fulfill. Um, since I started at age seven, the youngest at that time was um, probably one or, you know, wasn't even born. So they got to grow up, you know, like right. all in it. So that's one of the things that um, I sort of envy, you know, because, you know, they actually started, you know, in the business at a young age, a younger age. So what advice would you give to kids who dare to be exceptional, who dare to reach for their goals? Do you say start now, start later, go to school? I say start immediately. If you have a passion for something, you know, be involved, be engaged in it every single day. Even if you're in school, school is an important uh, tool because it shows you how to um, survive in this right. society. But in order to become successful, you have to nurture your gift. Don't try to be jack of all trades because you'll be master of none. Wow. So that's um, one key thing that um, one of our clients, Eddie Levert, had told us is that he stayed in his box. Um, that way, um, he couldn't. He didn't be everything um, to everyone. He stayed in his box, and so that's how he excelled. Because mm -hmm. if you practice on one thing, you're going to be so great at it. You have time to master your craft. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So I, I heard you mention schools and you were homeschooled, correct? Yes, I was homeschooled. So how would you compare the school system to being homeschooled? Well, my last formal grade in the school system was eighth grade. And um, 
going to school, you learn at everyone else's pace in class. But in homeschool, you know, whether you're, if you're lacking in something, you can catch up. Or if you're, you know, excelling in, uh, in another field, then you could just breeze right through. But also being homeschooled under my parents' uh, direction, we also got to learn um, more than just math and science, but also business, finances, economics, and then, of course, the trade of um, the computers and technology, yeah, right. technology. So last question, who do you owe your success to? Without a doubt, my parents. Your parents. <laughs> Without a doubt. Right. They taught you the business. Yeah. Why not give it back to them yes. and say thank you? Yes. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you for Ms. having Fowler. me on your show. Thank you. Well, here you have it. We have Corey Fowler, COO of American Technology. Look out. This is your next billionaire.